Welcome back to some more Timberborn. My name is Shauna and this is my first time back in Timberborn since I took my break. So I'm a little bit nervous and I'm trying to remember what exactly we were doing before. But while I was taking my break, there was a huge update in the game. Update number four, I think it was called. And they changed quite a few things. A lot of it has to do with the other faction that we're trying to unlock. Uh, we have to get to 15 well-being in order to unlock the iron teeth and there's new foods and different trees and things like that that are in the new faction the iron teeth faction but they still change quite a bit for this faction as well one of the things being that they change the way the districts work you don't have to have districts anymore if your stuff is too far apart now you can have one big district but then the farther your beavers have to travel the less they're actually doing their job so if they're you know commuting a really long way then they have less time to actually work and so on so districts are still a good idea they just changed it you don't have to have them or you can maybe spread them out a little bit more so that it's a little bit easier to use, but they did take out. So I had a distribution post and a drop off point over here. They got rid of those completely. They changed it. And I think now the beavers are supposed to move the, the goods back and forth between districts just kind of automatically. But they also got rid of the district gates. So right now my districts are all separated and they aren't doing any like they're not sharing any resources. So I need to do something really quick. They since they got rid of all of these, I need to put in this new thing called a district district crossing it balances goods between the two connected districts each side has its own workers that distribute goods between the district crossing and the rest of the district so this is what is in place instead of oh it's huge though i gotta change how this is but they this is instead of the district gate and then the drop off point and all that so before i can put this down i'm gonna have to delete some of these paths i think maybe i could just do these two and then it, maybe it'll fit. Okay, we'll do that. And then what do I need for this? Logs and planks. Okay, so it's going to take a minute to get that going. I'm going to have to also do all of the... I need it over here because this also was where a district gate was. So let's put this down. Um, let's just delete these paths really quick and then I can put the paths where I need them. Oh, I was like, I thought I had a temple, but it was down here, not up there. Okay, so... I guess we'll do that. Um, and then we'll put a path in... Here. To go into that. And then I'm gonna need one up here. Oh, this path. It's gonna mess this whole thing up. I think I'm gonna have to, like, delete something up here. Let's see. I know it's two by three, I think. And it's in the middle. I'm gonna have to put it maybe like here to make it work, which I guess isn't a huge deal. Is it? Oh, I can't put it there because of the water thing. I can't put it here. What if I do it like one over, get rid of these trees and put it like here? Clear planting area. Get rid of these. I need to demolish, be this. Then I need to delete all these paths. And then I think I can put this here when it's done and then just do a path right here. Okay, so I gotta, I'm gonna prioritize that so that I can actually build that. And then um, we'll see how this is all going. I need a lot of stuff for this. Oh man, okay. I'm actually gonna prioritize these as well because I want to make sure they get built so we can pass stuff around. These beavers up here don't have access to water, so they are only getting water from the other districts. So I really need to make sure that they have what they need. Hopefully we can get it pretty soon. We got 20 water left and 27 beavers, so tomorrow we're probably going to end up drinking all the water, but uh, we'll see what happens. So we're, we've got to build these district gates, district crossings, and then I also was thinking, you know, I'm going to need this built because right now this is making energy, but it's not traveling. I don't think it's traveling over here um, to this stuff. I'm pretty sure it has to be built at least somewhat in order for the energy to pass through. So I need to have them build this 
just so we can use the power that we're getting from these windmills up here. So we'll do that. I am so, I feel like I don't have enough planks and gears. Well, we've got a decent amount of gears, so I guess maybe we're okay. And I noticed that there is like no water in almost any of these. So we're gonna, I don't know if I'm not pumping enough water or I know that the drought was 13 days ago, but I feel like they should have, maybe they just drank it all before we could get more. So I don't know, we're gonna have to keep an eye on that because I may end up needing to, oh, am I gonna have to delete this one too? I think I am. Where was the, yep. Okay, so delete this. I prioritize it. Okay, they're doing it. And over here, I mean, we this is the only water storage we have over here, it looks like. So I probably should build more storage somewhere. It would be nice to have it near the water, but I don't know. Well, I guess maybe I could fit another thing over here or something once I get this district crossing built. Okay. Like that. And then we need to put in a path here. And then I think I can fit another, well, but the door's on the other side, darn it. Storage. Yep, I can't put it there, darn it. I mean, I guess I could just put a couple little ones, like put a path and do some of the small, but it only holds 30 a piece. We'll see what we do. I guess I could also put one here, or something. We're also trying to get rid of this scrap metal so that we can my goal eventually is to get this filled with water by putting a path through here and then maybe bringing this. I don't know if it's going to work. The truth is that I have not. This is the first time I've played this game uh, with all of you. So I am not exactly sure how the water situation is going to go, but I'd like to get that done and see if it if I can get water up here. OK, so this is done and they are taking things around. Not exactly sure how it works, but it's cool. Imported goods. So this is on the clink clack. So they're importing that. And then I would like to export. I, I mean, I don't really know how this works. We'll have to see. But scrap metal is what I'm looking for. Um. Oh, here it is. Okay. Import enabled. Okay, so I don't want to import scrap metal into Woodstock. I want to get rid of the scrap metal and have it sent over here to this because we've got a huge uh, storage place for scrap metal over here, 1800. And over here, we're pretty much full. Yeah, these storage things are full and these are getting full. So hopefully they'll send some over to this side. We can get rid of it. And then I really... Now that we have all this room, because we don't have the distribution post or the drop off point, we could maybe put another storage thing over here or more of the scavenger flags or something so that we can make this a little bit faster. So maybe I will do that. Storage. I think scrap goes into the piles. So I'm just going to do another one of these. Do it like this. Or what if I do this? And then I'll path up to the side there. Oh man, another drought's coming in three days. So we've got to get some more water pretty soon here. Hopefully these beavers are okay. This is starting to fill up a little bit. Do we have water up here? Eight. We've got eight water up here. I really need to, um, let's see about always. So into clink clack, we always want to get water, right? So I am going to, okay, always import. Perfect. I'm glad it says that. And wood. Yep. We want to do that. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I really need any of this. Okay. Sorry. I'm getting distracted. Um, how's this going? Okay. This is set. Do I want more spots for explosives or should I do paper? Do I have any paper here? No, maybe I just do this as more explosives. I feel like we're making just enough paper to make explosives and that's it. And I would rather have more space for explosives at the moment. And then now that these are going there, sh it should travel in here. Power output. Is it not traveling through? Just isn't shouldn't it be? Going through the buildings here? 
Maybe it doesn't go through these types of buildings. Maybe it only goes through the other ones. Great. Okay, well, um... Oh, okay. Let's fix this really quick. Get this to scrap metal so that we have more storage. And then I wonder, do I need to put more shafts in? Should I put shafts in or should I? Ugh. Okay, I'm going to demolish this because obviously this is not traveling this way. So we're just wasting our uh, power that we're getting here. Let's put in some shafts. Like this. I'm gonna do this here. Oh, wrong way. This way. And then one over here. And I'm gonna do straight here. And all along here. So then this should go into here. And this is connected to the rest of it. So it might take some time to get them to craft this or to build these. But and I hope that they can get to it just by going from the path onto it. I guess I don't know for sure, but. Yeah, we're definitely going to need it. Let me see about... They're doing this one. I'm going to prioritize this area. And then they could do that after, maybe. No power right now because we don't have any wind. District stuff is okay. Man, this is already filling up. These are both full. I want to, like, always export. Can I do that? Always export? I don't know. Anyway, um, another. So now that we are getting close, I my main goal in this is to, to unlock the iron teeth. And to do that, we need 15 well-being, um, which right now we have 14. So we just need one more well-being. But what I need to do to get that is create something to help them. Let's take a look. So we have one with an injury. We're doing pretty good on all of our basic needs. Wet fur. The ones up in the Clint Clack district don't get water. So they're not getting any wet fur, but I think all of the rest of the beavers should be because they've got Lido's and all of that. So we should be good on that. We've got campfire, I think in two of the districts, but for some reason we're not getting, maybe they're too far away or something, didn't we? Okay, so we have one up here and then I thought we had one down here. Okay, we do. So maybe they're just not all visiting, but they should be able to. Maybe I need another one down here because this this district I think is the biggest. 46 beavers, 30. Well, I guess it's not that much bigger, but let's keep looking. We've got, we could do a rooftop terrace, some of these aesthetic things, shrubs, roof, scarecrow, beaver statue, and these monuments. You know what I'd like to do is maybe like the carousel or the mud bath or something. So let's see what those need. Oh, and we haven't unlocked the shrine yet. We could do that. It allows one visitor at a time. I could do a couple in each district, maybe. And I'll just give them an extra little boost. Let's do that first and see where we can fit it in. So, like, I could put one here. Where else do I have, have a little bit of a open space? Let's see. Do one here. Let's go over here. Do it maybe up here somewhere. Uh, rotate this. We'll, yeah, pop one there. Maybe do one here. Then we'll go down here and put some. If I can find a spot, put one here. I got another place for one. Not a whole lot of open spots, but maybe I could just do one along this path or something. Okay, so I've got two being built in each district for them to. Uh, go to. It only takes logs, so it shouldn't take too long for us to get it. We've got a lot of logs. And then, um, do I have storage for logs up here somewhere? Okay, I do. So that'll help with that. Then we can take a look at the carousel. So it needs power. So we're going to need to build it somewhere where we can get power. It needs gears and metal and planks. We have enough gears. We've got enough metal and we have enough planks. So I think we could probably do it. Maybe we'll put one up here some while, well, but there's no path there. Yeah, I might be able to build a path down here and put one like if I touch the side of this, will it work? Just stick it right in this spot here or something like that. Let's try it. Okay, so it's 700 science points, which we have, so it shouldn't be a big deal. If I turn this like this. Power connection is blocked. Okay, so I need to do this if I want it to be connected to that power. Okay, I'm going to build it. 
we're going to put down a path. Just like this. And then this is all to hook together now. So now that this is all together, hopefully these batteries will get more power. I don't know. What do we got here? We've got 692 power coming in. We're not using any right now because they're all it's nighttime. So they're all taking a break. But soon we'll see once everybody's in there if we have enough power. How much power does this take? 400. So we're going to need more. And this can get up to 400 power per one of these. So I might need more windmills. I might. It's probably going to be needed. But for now, we'll just see what happens. The shrines will help with the well-being. The carousel. I should probably switch around. I think that probably all of these beavers have been to the temple they have. So I'm going to switch it, um, switch the path over to here for a moment. And then I wonder if it's still going to tell me I can't. Ugh, eat this. I think I'm going to go out one more. Um, okay, we're going to delete this path. I'm going to put in a path here and then they can get to the temple on this side, the Woodstock district. We've got a lot of um, trees here. Actually, this, what are we missing here? Just gears. We have gears coming in to it. I do need gears. Lack of storage and workplace demand. But I need it for the buildings. I guess I'm going to need to build a storage spot for gears. Maybe I'll just put a thing right here for... I think gears go in the warehouses, don't they? Yes, they do. Okay, so we need a small warehouse that. This is going to be for gears. And then it should enable them to bring in the ge some gears so we have enough to build this, I think. And then once we get the gears, we can store more logs because right now we've got this log storage, but it's pretty far away from the majority of the trees that we're growing. So they're going to have to walk a greater distance to put them away than if it's here. So it'd be nice to have that available. <sighs> oh yeah, because it's the drought. These don't have any power. That was another thing I was thinking about was maybe putting batteries up here or something for connecting this way. Um, but I'm not sure. Oh. Oh. Do we have movement? How are we getting power down here? Interesting. Somebody's injured. It's a lot of injured beavers. I'm glad I have so many medical beds. Okay, so we've got the shrines. I think that they are getting happier. Ooh. What do you mean progress locked? My average well-being is 15. To unlock, reach average well-being of 15 while playing folktales. And then I spent a minute going around to all the different districts trying to figure out why I haven't unlocked the new faction when, as you can see, I most definitely already did. Oh! New faction unlocked, just like that. Man, yay! We can, we can start a new faction. I think once I get the water situation going and I figure out how it all works, then we'll switch and we'll move on to the iron teeth. But for now, I would want to test out some of these items and see how they work. So how much uh, power are we getting here? We are supplying 558 and we have a 600 demand. So we definitely need this to get built and then I may end up putting up more of them. Um, how much does it take to build them? I cannot remember. Is that in power? It is. Large windmill takes gears, planks and paper, which may be where we all of our paper went, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to be able to build this for a little bit. I feel like this beaver is just taking a long time to make the paper. Maybe I need another beaver making paper. Should I build another paper mill? I don't know. We'll have to see. What are we lacking? Paper. Yeah, they're slowly putting it in. It'll be fine. How are we doing on water up here? We are starting to get a little bit more, but now that it's a drought, I'm, these beavers are not going to have water as much. I'm wondering if I should put another water pump down here. I just don't exactly know where to build the water pump. I could take out some of these bushes or something and put a water pump over here. And then just maybe do a path this way. That might work. Let me um, let me think about that. Mark resources for demolition. I'm thinking these four. Because then I could put it here, have it sticking out the end there into this part. And then I'll need to take out these. And then these, I think. 
and then I can put a path this way, put the water pump here, and then they will be able to get some more water. Man, there are so many injuries. What are these beavers doing to get hurt so much? Do I have enough beds? Are they all over here? How much medicine do we have? We have enough medicine. We'll be fine. Okay, so... Well, while all of that is getting built and taken care of, I would like to start working on maybe uh, putting down some dynamite here and getting a little bit, bit of this worked on. So let's put down, where's that at? Science? No. Oh, it's in landscaping, isn't it? Destroys the black way. So I am going to unlock the dynamite, even though I already have it. It's 600 points. And then I'm going to, what I'm thinking is... Once this is gone, I'm going to probably want the path to be going down here because this has a spot, so I don't really want it here. I'm thinking we'll have water right here, so we'll just go like this, like so. And then once they build that, I will demolish that or set off the explosives or whatever you want to call it. And then we'll get that going. Um, okay, they're starting to get stuff here. We're only waiting on three more metal blocks and then the carousel will be done uh now that this is built i don't i'm thinking ugh, but we don't have any power right now because there's no wind so that's fun i wonder once i get water up here if if it'll fall off the edge and create some power too maybe i can put some what's it called the water water power things what are they called power oh no water wheels over here and they will as the water falls off it'll make them go i don't know we'll see see what happens but it will be nice to have that oh good they are done look at this oh, oh man they look like they're having so much fun that is super cool oh i'm gonna need to build one of those for everybody because that that's a lot of fun how much power are we using up so we're using a thousand power and we have we only are supplying 867, so everything's moving slowly because of it. But, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm so excited about this carousel being done. But thank you so much for joining me. I am going to pop a couple more episodes up over on the side here for you to take a look at. If you liked this one, you might enjoy those as well. And I love hearing from all of you. So if you have something to say, please leave me a comment below. I want to hear from you. But that's going to be it for this episode. I'll see you next time.